All right, we're back with part two of Let's Cook at Home. So now we're going to do the eggplant sauce, okay? It's just like spaghetti sauce, however you make your spaghetti sauce. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit to show you how I cheat making sauce, all right? Um, but that's what we're going to do now, all right? So I, I, we got our bread pudding sitting over here cooling off. By the time we finish this, then I can scoop some out and then give it a taste for you, okay? So let's light our candle because i got to cut this onion up. First, let me turn on, let me turn my skillet off. Okay, let me turn that on. Let's light our candle. I'm going to take my time with this. We're not going to rush. I hate when I rush. When I rush, I forget things. And I really want this to be good. So I want to really put my... I think I should have cut that wick down for them, shouldn't I? Oh, well. But anyway... Oh, I keep forgetting. Let me... Say my thank you. I had to pull out my phone so I can make sure, and I did have it right. My latest two subscribers are Nene58 and Lisa Warren. I want to thank you very much. Uh, I'm trying to hit my my thousand subscribers before the end of the year, and I thank you very much. And Lisa, I, I remind you of you. <laughs> Okay, then you must be a pretty awesome person, all right? Cheers to us. Matter of fact, let's cheers to us, Lisa. Thank you very much for subscribing. And thank you for the comment, all right? So now we're going to get on to the get on, all right? All right, it's, it's melting down a little bit. Let's give ourselves some room here. I'm going to cut this onion. I'm going to set this here for right now. So I'm going to first add one third cup of coconut oil and I may end up needing some more just because eggplant soaks up but it might be alright just because we're going to add you know a lot of tomato sauce and I'm going to add a little more just there we go. Just a little more. I don't think I'm going to need this um, cup anymore. So I'm going to throw that in the sink. So we can start making space here. I got all types of things going on. Alright. Let's move this over here. Alright. Cut this onion. How is everyone? I didn't ask that in the first, in part one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to skip over that. I hope everyone is well. 2020 came in here playing no games with us this year. So uh, we have to check on one another. <laughs> 2020 came in with boots on, collecting names and asking no questions. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to make sure that we take extra care of ourselves this year because it's, it's a wild ride out here. Alright, so I have my purple onion and I'm going to go ahead and start putting, whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to turn that down. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm not going to even play this game. I'm just going to put this in like this. And then I'm going to break it up here, alright? I'm not going to keep sitting here playing around with it in front of my face. We're going to put it in and break it up. How about that? Give me another knife. There we go. There we go. Because I'm not going to sit here and pull these apart with my fingers one by one. I'm just not going to do it. Yes, the candle helps. 
And it also helps throwing these in like this. Okay. I might turn it down too low. Hold on. Okay. Hell, did I turn it off? What did I do? Oh, I did. Hold on. Turn it back up. You know I don't know how to act. There's not an on and off button. <laughs> Things need to be adjusted. You have to pay attention. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Here we go. It's coming back to life now. I turned it down too low. I'm trying to be careful not to scratch the uh, the surface of my pan because I really am being a naughty girl by putting these metal utensils in this pan like this. That's how you damage your pots and pans and scrape them all up when you use the wrong utensils. This is something that you use wooden or rubber, not metal. Now you can make your sauce any way you want. Okay? I am a person that likes texture. I like to feel things. So I like to have things to chew and different textures to look at um, when I put food on a plate. The artist in me. Presentation. Alright. We're going we're going with that. Alright, so this is our eggplant sauce. So now that we have our onion cut cut up, I don't think I need this anymore now. We're gonna turn that off and sit it somewhere. Let's sit it over here. Alright. The star of the show is eggplant. Now if you have never cooked eggplant before, I know I've done some other videos with eggplant. Um, you cut up eggplant and you eat them. They have like a, a bitter taste to them. I don't know. You may like it. I don't know. Um, but to get the taste off, you have to let it soak. And when you do, it turns the water brown. So I'm going to pour this off. I had this soaking overnight. Okay? Because I should have cooked this last night. But I wanted to do it in a video for you. So I didn't cook it last night. Alright? So we're just going to get that off of there and I'm going to give it a push kept the skin on it, which was another reason why I wanted it to soak and get that bitterness out. A lot of the bitterness is in the purple skin. But, from what I read, a lot of the nutrients are in the purple skin. So I didn't want to get rid of it. You know what I think it is about this skillet? I think it reaches the temperature and then it turns itself down to maintain it. And so when it turns itself down, I think it's turned off. Oh my God. This is why you got to play with your toy, okay? <laughs> I'm going to try to do more more videos, okay? And I know I said that often and then I don't. Um, but I'm, I got a new camera. I have a different setup and I know you can't see that I have a different setup, but I know that I do and it's easier um, for me now. Okay, so we're going to let this cook for a second and then I'm going to go ahead and tell you what all I have here. Okay, so I have green onion, green bell pepper, cilantro, oregano, turmeric, poultry seasoning, tomato paste, roasted diced uh, tomatoes, ground cumin, basil leaves, dried uh, cilantro, cayenne pepper, 
flaxseed, spaghetti sauce, uh, this is olive oil and basil and garlic. I have some apple cider vinegar here and I have a can of crushed tomatoes. I have a jar of already peeled whole garlic and I have a can of sliced mushrooms and tomatoes on the vine. I like to eat sandwiches with these but I'm, I, I, I've, I've had too many things to eat and because of that the tomatoes will go bad before I get around to them again. I, I like tomato sandwiches when I'm in one of my I don't feel like cooking mode. I make me a nice big fat tomato sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and when I bought them, I thought, oh, yeah, I'm going to have some other sandwiches. But then the cooking spirit hit me, and I know, no, I'm not, and they will go bad waiting. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut them up and put them in this sauce. All right, so my onions are cooking down. I don't know if you can see in there with that angle. But I'm going to go ahead and add in my eggplant. And we're going to put this, oh, in the sink. All right, and let's get a nice go around in there and get those onions and eggplants all married up so they can be delicious together. Right, let me move this over a little bit more. Try to get you get it in the screen. So, right now, I've already washed all of this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my green pepper. I am very much a nocturnal creature. I sleep and lay around all day like a cat and then at night I'm up and I like to cook at night and I watch movies at night so basically damn near everything that you would do during your off day during the day I do at night. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start sprinkling these in. So yes, I am prone to cook a full course meal at 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, watching movies, and then I get sleepy around 7.30, 8 o'clock, 9 in the morning. And that's just the way I am, okay? Who else is a nocturnal person? Leave me a comment and tell me you in my back club. <laughs> Alright, let me add some more in. The cilantro we're going to add towards the end, except the stems. The stems I'm going to add in now. As soon as I finish putting this green pepper in here. Some people throw their stems away. I don't. I like them. Alright, add it in. I get these in. We're going to give it a nice little stir. 
and let the onions and the eggplant know that the green pepper has came to the party. Now this is something that I actually made a couple weeks ago and I like it because it's quick and when I'm hungry I just keep the sauce in a container and then I just spoon out what I want to eat and then I just make me some I like angel hair pasta so I make me some angel hair pasta and add my sauce to it and it's perfect and because of that it cuts down on my junk eating All right so let's get a nice little stir there all right and I'm going to add some sea salt to this this is my pink Himalayan sea salt You know what? I don't even know why I bother. I don't know why I bother with the sprinkles. I know what I'm doing here. There we go. It's light. Just a light little dance. That's all it needs. Set it back up here. Give it another nice little stir. Okay, I'm going to add in some poultry seasoning. Is she going to measure it? No, she's not going to measure it. We're just going to sprinkle it in like that there. <laughs> That's all we're going to do. And I'm going to put that back where it belongs, okay? And now we're going to stir it again. It's no fun measuring. Not for me. It makes you nervous. You start to think, is it enough or is it not enough? You can always go back and add some more if it's not enough. But it's pretty hard to, to save yourself from too much. So, when I cook, less is more. I tend to like to allow the vegetables to be the seasoning. So, um, when I add seasoning, I know it seems like, well, she's not putting in enough. Yeah, I do. It's, it's a nice balance. It's a nice balance. And what happens is, a lot of times if you have food left over and it fits overnight, everybody knows this. Anybody that loves leftovers knows the leftovers always taste better the next day. It's because the seasoning got a chance to wake up and be friends with one another. Okay, so we got that in there. Let's add in a little turmeric. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit like that right there. Just, just like that. Okay, that's all. That's all. Just a little bit. Right, and then I need to add in some pepper. Just a little pepper. What else we add in here? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, let's add in our Italian seasoning. Okay. Let's add in some oregano. No, I'm still not going to measure it. Okay, let's add in, well, you know what, I think I'm going to, ah, forget it, it's out here, boom, we're going to add in some cayenne pepper, alright, I was going to let it slide because I put the black pepper in there, but forget that, we can take a little heat, I can take a little heat, alright, I'm going to add in some dried cilantro, A little bit. 
a little bit. Okay. And then what else we got over here? We got a bay leaf. We're gonna go ahead and throw a couple of those in there. A couple, which is two. Boom. Boom. Alright, and what else we got here? We're gonna let a little ground cumin get in here. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Get in there, get in there. Yes. Boom. Oh. I don't know. I just know, okay? I just know. I just know. Like, stop, Lyric. It's a dove. It's a dove. I'm going to go ahead and add in my whole garlic. I've never uh, bought the, this one before. I saw it today, and I thought I'd try it. Came in a jar. I usually um, get the ones in the bag or you buy the ones that you peel. Um, I'm not a fan of the diced garlic. It feels like little bits of pebbles. I don't like it. So I'm going to add in this whole thing because I really like garlic. Okay, and then what else are we going to add in here? Let's get us a stir first. We got all our dry ingredients in here. Let's stir this up. Let me move my cutting board before I melt it. Oh, it's smelling good. All right. Now what are we going to add? What are we going to add? Hold on. Let's add our mushroom. Let's get that a stir. Oh my God, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to eat it. We got a new uh, episode of Archer that has that is airing tonight on Hulu, and I am going to make me a plate and enjoy my little cartoon. Okay, I got everything over there. Yes, I know these are still on the stem, but I did wash them off. I just like to keep them on the stem as long as I can. Okay, so I'm going to, yes, no, let me add one more dry ingredient. Okay, this is my flaxseed, you know I always got to healthy it up. This is one tablespoon. I'm going to healthy it up just a little bit more, okay, and then that's it for that. Put this. Over there, let's give us, I like a little twang, so again, we're going to go with a tablespoon, this is apple cider vinegar, I like a little twang to my sauce. So add that in, that in the sink. That in the cabinet. Clean as you go. Get out of stir. Oh, it smells delicious. My onions are nice and wilted. My eggplant is cooking up very soft and delicately. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add in my diced tomatoes. So now we can start adding in our wet. I've already added everything dry. Yes. So we're going with the wet now. And I know y'all seeing me open up these cans with this bottle opener. And it's because I don't want to break my nails. Okay? I don't want to break them. Why use the bottle opener? Alright, so this is our roasted um, diced tomatoes. 
This is not a hard recipe. Okay, it's not. This is something that you can do um, to upgrade your spaghetti sauce. Okay, is add in your own ingredients. All right, add fresh vegetables to your spaghetti sauces, things that you buy in a can. Add a add a healthy element to it, and it really does give it a new dimension, a new flavor, a new taste. Give it a new attitude, if you will. Okay? <laughs> new attitude. I'm a huge fan of tomatoes, so forgive me if it seems like I go a little overboard, but I am a huge fan of tomatoes. If you haven't already gathered that, when I said I eat tomato sandwiches, And to those who may ask, am I a vegan or a vegetarian? No, but I tend to not eat a lot of meat. I have meat moments where I want chicken or I may have a taste for a roast, um, but it's not my day to day, so no, okay? Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Alright, I gotta move a little faster now. I gotta move a little faster. Okay. This is a rough chop, again, because I like to feel and taste the texture in my food. But you can slice and dice any way you like. It's yours. I'm 
want to make sure I get that paste spread around in there. I want to make sure that everything gets mixed in there. It's looking beautiful. Alright, I'm going to slide this over. Let me see if I can me a bowl. Put those in a bowl. Because we're going to add those towards the end too. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put these stems in. So like I said, I've already washed, washed these. But I want the stems. Okay. So we're going to add those in now. They smell so good. That's my cilantro. Alright, add that in now. Can you see in the front? I can't tell what you can see. Yeah, I bought a new camera. But I gotta learn how to use it. So currently we're still using the camera I've, I've been using for years. Because I tried to use the new one. And <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to read the directions. You all know I hate reading directions. But I'm gonna have to read the directions so I can use it right. Because it has a camera that flips around so I can see. And then that way be able to see what you see, okay? But I'm doing my best here to try to get that in there for you in the shot. Okay? Alright, now we're going to add in, you know what? Let's see. I'm going to add in my spaghetti sauce. I hesitated because I have a can of fresh tomatoes and I was going to add that first. But it may not be enough room in this pot. Oh, it smells so good. I'm going to have to use a bigger glass. Yeah, I can add some more. Never be afraid to hook up your sauce, okay? You don't have to eat just what's in the jar. Hook it up. Make it your own. This is why my food typically never tastes the same. Because I'm always doing something to it. I like to try new seasons. I know it's awkward as hell sitting on this stool trying to cook. But like I said, if I stand up, it's going to chop off me face. Oh, this is beautiful. It smells so good. This, my friends, is my eggplant sauce, and I promise you, you will not miss meat in here. You won't. There are so many things to taste and to chew and so many textures, and that's how I kind of uh, break myself from eating so much meat is 
you have to give your palate different things to focus on and you won't miss it. Eating meat is, I think, a habit. Just because you grow up that way, it's just a habit that you have chicken and then you have sides. Or you have meatloaf and you have sides, you know. So you grow up eating it and I think a lot of us just do it out of habit. Like they just go together like peanut butter and jelly. But as you get older and you start to experiment or even you don't even have to be older. You just, when you start cooking for yourself, it's always good to try different things. Um, you say, you know, you need the protein and, you know, do what you want. All right. For me, eating too much meat is not good for me. I don't feel good when I eat too much meat. But I feel great when I skip it. But sometimes, like I said, I get a taste for it. I want meatloaf. I want a roast. I want some chicken wings. I like chicken wings when I watch a movie sometimes. Because I got that new air fryer, so I like to give her a little run every now and again. Because I, I think that's really all I bought it for. I don't think I can fit any, any more sauce in here, y'all. I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to turn it down to keep warm. Because it's ready. I'm going to add my... green onion and then I'm going to cut up the last of the cilantro and I'm going to add that and then just let it simmer. I'm going to add some water to my um, angel hair pasta which I have behind me on the stove and that will be it folks. We would have completed part two after we get this taste test done. Right? Let me it's a nice little choppity chop chop. Okay. To my current subscribers, if you all have not found me on Facebook, I have a channel called Let's Cook at Home. And it's Lyric Originals 1. If you put it in the search, or let's cook at home if you put it in the search. I don't know how many other people are using let's cook, let's cook at home. But I am the only Lyric Original one. So that's L-Y-R-I-C, capital O-R-I-G-I-N-A-L-S, number one. Okay? You put that in the search and follow the page. And sometimes I do little short videos. don't follow me there. You should. <laughs> you should. This is it. This is it. Wasn't that easy? Huh? Wasn't that easy? The eggplant is the star. But it needed a supporting cast. <laughs> yeah. I want to get this off. Hold on. I don't want to waste anything. Not if we can help it. Right? Get the sink. Stir it up. I'm going to taste it just to see if it needs any salt or a little bit more vinegar. But I'm just going to turn this. All right, I don't really need it all. Just going to turn it so it'll get a little warm on it. That's all. That's all. Because saving it to the end, you still get to get that freshness out of it. So that's why I save that part to the end. Now I want to taste this real quick. That's really good. But it needs a little something else. And I'm going to go ahead and add this in because there's nothing else I can do with it. It's not enough to do anything with. So we might as well just squeeze it in there. Okay. And then we got a little bit left in there. And that's it. 
But there's one little thing that I want to add. I have to get up off my throne to do this. It needs some balsamic vinegar. And I lost the cap to my balsamic vinegar, so I have to put it in a sandwich bag with a rubber band. It's a bootleg, isn't it? But it works. All right. I'm going to give it just right there. That's it. That's what's going to bring it home. I didn't need one more little thing. One more little thing. It's small, but I like balance. I like things to be smooth. It needs just a little honey. Just a little bit. That. That's it. That's all it needs. Just a little bit. And that is what's going to bring her on home. <laughs> Alright, let's stir her up. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see that? Let me, let me move these things. Let me move these things. It's beautiful and it smells so good. Oh my god. We got a little sangria. Go with our eggplant spaghetti. And then we want to taste that red pudding. And it's going to be a wrap for part two. All right nice and stirred up. Okay, it's nice and mixed and blended all well. Oh, this is so good. Hold on, I'm going to give it one more little taste. But I already know this is it. This is it right here. This is it, okay? But, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I need to stir it a little bit more. I, I taste too much of that last little bit of um, tomato. That crushed tomato. Let me stir it up just a little bit more in this middle part. And get some of the goodies on the sides in there. Because I, I taste that. But I tell you what. Tomorrow, in the next couple of days, this will be the most fantastic thing that ever hit your palate. Alright, let me taste it one more time. I'm going to use a different finger in case I decide to share. There it is. That's it right there. So I'm going to put the lid on it. I'm going to put the water on on my, uh, on my pasta, and then I'm going to let this sit, and I'll be back. It's the big moment. We've been waiting on it. <laughs> I know I have. Maybe you haven't, but I've been waiting on this. I'm starving over here. <laughs> so here's my angel hair pasta. And I like to leave my pasta in the pot until all the water is absorbed and I don't put in a whole lot of water so it's not um let me show you it's not soupy because I know that's what you thought when they're like yeah she leaves it in the water no I I don't add a whole lot of water I put a lid on it and let the steam kind of do it but you see it it's not it's not uh soupy at all it's actually kind of firm so I let it soak up all the water, and I still have quite a bit in there, and I will eat it. Trust me, I will. <laughs> Maybe not all in one time, but I will take this down. 
Well, right now we're going to start out with just this little bit so I can be polite, all right? So I'm going to sit this back over here. And then I'm going to... Oh, my goodness, it's beautiful. Where can I put this lid? Over here. Get in this song. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's beautiful. It smells so good. Wait to get in there. All right, let me sit this here. And put my lid back on it, and we're gonna cut this red pudding. Let me, let me, let me, let me move this over here. Okay, let me move it out. We're gonna taste that. Okay, we're gonna taste it. But let's, let's, let's do this because it's just absolutely perfect. I love the. I usually always like the middle of things. But when it comes to bread pudding, I still like the middle, but it's the, the side that is so good. Oh, it's perfect. It's, it's perfect. I can tell by the way it feels that it's perfect. Now, with bread pudding, you can eat this with ice cream. You can eat this with... Uh, I, I know I've had, I've drizzled honey over it, I've had it with chocolate syrup, I've had it with Cool Whip, um, I've had it with pretty much all types of things. I'm kind of like Sam I Am Green Eggs and Ham. <laughs> how, you like, how you like these green eggs and ham? He likes them all types of ways. Well, that's how I kind of like my bread pudding, but honestly just like this is absolutely divine. Oh my God. I wish my cousins were here. They would be so proud of me. I had to taste it just because I'm feeling all sentimental. I miss my grandmother today. <laughs> I miss her every day, but I really miss her today just because I'm fixing one of her her infamous desserts, okay? My grandmother was a fantastic cook. I don't think I've ever had anything that didn't taste good. Even something as simple as hamburgers. I can taste her hamburger right now. It tastes like no other burger I've ever had in my life. Um, and I can, I can taste it. My grandmother was a fantastic cook. She was a beautiful person. Um, I don't think anybody didn't like her. You know, she was just this quiet, polite lady. And she cooked and she took care of home and she loved God. She really did. And I think one of the things I remember most about her is she used to twiddle her thumb. I don't know why as a little kid I used to like to watch her do this and then she'd get fancy and switch it in reverse on y'all. <laughs> it was something so simple but it's like I don't know when people leave you remember little things about them you know so this whole dessert is really making me think about her and tasting it just takes me all the way back to being that little girl and just seeing her as the most wonderful person I had ever known. She was the best to me. And I, I, said, I had great grandparents. All my grandparents were cool. All of them. They were all very unique in their own way and I loved them all. But my grandmother um, was the one that I spent the most time with. And she is the biggest influence on how I cook and how I love, how I take care of home, um, how I mind my own business, how I'm cool with being by myself, how I have my own little world. She was at home and she had her own little world of things that she did and she did them very well. So anyway, that's, this is my, my moment. <laughs> I miss my grandmother. But anyway, this is the bomb. So I hope you all try it. 
So let's get over to this eggplant um, pasta before I start to cry. <laughs> All right, so let me let me do this because I really do want to cry. I miss her so much. But anyway, whew, shake it off, shake it off. All right, let's get back in. Now, this is something that I like. I said I made a couple weeks ago, and I eat off of it. And what I do. I, I put it in the refrigerator and I spoon out the sauce and I spread it around the inside of the bowl. Then I make just enough pasta for that moment. And I put it in the middle. Once I mix it up, the heat from the spaghetti warms up the sauce. So I don't even have to warm it up on the stove. I don't have a microwave, so I have to get inventive. I don't like microwaves. Um, not if I can help it. You know, I, I really don't. I don't own one here in the house, and that's intentional. Because trust and believe, if I wanted one, I have a big old red and black one. <laughs> I've seen one today, honestly, and I'm like, no, I don't do microwaves. But anyway, let's taste it. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Let me get a little bit of everything in here. Hold on. Hold on. Now, this may be hot. This is not, this hasn't been cooler while I'm getting all right. We have burned my whole damn mouth up. Hold on. You kiss the cook. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's very, very good. I'm glad I put in the work. I had to take a nap to get up and do this. <laughs> so this is nighttime. It really is, but I told you nighttime is the right time. This is when I come alive. Oh, this is fantastic. And it's really going to be good tomorrow. Mmm. That's really, really good. I can add just a little olive oil on it just because it just gives it a nice little mm. stir it up. This is it. This is it. Did y'all get a good view of that? Mm. Did you get a good view of that? I don't know if you can, but it's absolutely gorgeous and so pretty. I'm going to add some more to my bowl. Yes. Don't be afraid to hook up your spaghetti sauce. Buy whatever flavor you want, but make sure that you start with adding your vegetables to it. And then add your sauce to it at the end. Add all your dry things first you know, and then add in the wet. And it would just marry it very well together. <laughs> That's it. I have nothing else to say. Okay, we did this. Thank you very much for tuning in to me and paying attention to my little moments. I appreciate you. I appreciate you very much. I really do. You have millions and millions and millions of videos that you could have watched and you took the time to watch mine. So thank you very much. I appreciate you. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, share it, um, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Okay? Thank you again. And remember to take care of yourself, take care of each other, and above all things, keep a lyric in your heart. Till next time. Bye-bye.